All right, guys, we are here with the camera. I mean, I came to see both cameras, but this right here is, this is everything. I'm, I'm gonna let Bob do the talking and tell you about this camera because it's, it's everything you want. So call your credit card company, have them increase your limit. And then uh, just let, just listen. He's gonna tell you why you gotta increase your limit. So this is the new Ursa Cine 12K camera. Uh, one of the things that Grant was saying the other day is that, look, we wanted to put everything we've ever dreamed of in one camera. What can we do? And I think they really went crazy and it's awesome. It's a new design. Uh, it's a little bit larger than the other one because we have some cooler things in here. I mean, this camera has this, uh, this um, monitor here is fully articulating and it'll, it'll slam back in here the OS as well as it being a monitor, uh, you know, so it, it really is a cool design that we came up with to uh, improve the usability of it on set, right? But one of the things, because this is a new 12K sensor, so it's larger than the original uh, Ursa Mini 12K, this needs better storage. So we have created our own media module that this will be an eight terabyte uh, module and there'll also be a 16 terabyte and it'll go into our new media dock. What this allows you to do then is to be able to uh, record up to four hours of 12k so you can record a lot obviously. And then the other thing is we have added uh, this antennas are for Wi-Fi connection so you could move the storage off of the camera that way you can move the camera the storage off the camera through a uh, 10 gig ethernet port back here, as well as tethering it on a cell phone. So there's a lot of options. We're selling the camera with an EF and PL mount, and there's an optional LPL mount, but we also sell it in two forms. So you can sell it the, the camera body or camera body with the new Ursa Cine EF. So we, we have it in two different configurations for that. Um, this camera does, you know, it's got a lot to it. It also has something that's on this side I'll show you. We added the assistant station back to the camera that was in the original Ursa, the big one. So this one is really cool because what you're able to do is you can actually, uh, there's a, you can pull focus, you can mark points on it. It'll learn the lenses range from, from close to open and also the full range of its focus control so that when you are focusing, you can actually set points on it. So it's, uh, it's, it's an amazing add-on to this. And again, you're gonna record Blackmagic RAW in all the different formats. You know, there's, there's a 12K, 9K, 8K, 4K, you know, but now that we have these larger, like virtual backgrounds, they need huge images. You know, that spear over there is gonna need some big images, so you can do it. And then if you shoot wider, you can, bigger, then you can actually reframe for 4K or something like that and make it look like you have steady cams. So it, it really is a great, camera design it's got the built-in ND filters it has an OLPF uh, filter on the on the sensor again a new sensor design larger sensor design and one of the other things we're showing at the show is we're teasing everybody about our new 17k camera that'll be coming in the future that'll do 65 millimeter for um, for doing uh, IMAS nice nice um, I want to ask you about dynamic range Ooh. and I want to ask you about um, is it is it dual native ISO or so it's one one continuous ISO but the 16 stops at dynamic range so it's quite large. Perfect, perfect. Um, mounts. Is it any any plans for RF mount or Leica mount? Well, you know, right now you never know. Uh, it, you know, the, the, like I said, we have right now we have the EF, the PL, and then the LPL. So you know, a lot of them are adaptable to different things. So. I guess we'll wait and see, but uh, so far, this is gonna be a really cool addition to the cinema line, but the beauty of it is, no matter what Blackmagic camera you've ever used, you can use this one because you'll recognize the menu structure. Right, and, it'll, and you can, you can kind of work your way up to it. Um, Absolutely. I, I think on the, when they unveiled it, they said it, it may come with one eight terabyte. Is that true, is that? Oh yeah, no, that, that's correct. It'll come with one eight terabyte drive, and it actually comes in a Pelican case. Okay. I seen it. It looks like a nice VHS case. It, it brought me back a little bit. How much? Um, how much could I record on the eight eight terabyte? Was that four hours of four hours of twelve K? So that's pretty good. And we have a calculator on the website. It'll tell you how much you know what frame rate and what aspect you're using and what how much you can get because it's hard to remember them all. But that little calculator is cool. Just know if you go twelve K, you will be okay. That's all you need to know. You'll be okay with twelve K. 
Because you got every all the Ks, every whatever you want to shoot. That's a lot. <laughs> um, let's talk audio with it. Sure. All. So uh, we have the two audio uh, inputs in the back here, full XLR, as well as onboard microphones. Okay. Do you have the ability to record to a hard drive like with the other ones, or is it just too much yeah, data? Yeah, there's a USB-C port that you can also either tether a phone to move the data or uh, use it for recording. Do you, do you know if, is there any, I'm, I'm sure you probably can't record 17K through, I mean, or, or 12K through a USB-C, but. Yeah, what we usually do is uh, we list the drives and what speeds they can do and what compression ratio or, or frame rates. And we always do that with all of the storage because there's, there's fluctuations, but we wanted to be able to guarantee that you could do the frame rates that we have. And that's where the media module came in. Okay. Uh, and I want to kind of talk about the earpiece, I mean, the eyepiece with this one, because I know uh, the viewfinder, um, what you guys talking about, is there a package where I can get it all together? Yeah, so you can buy just the camera body for fourteen nine nine five, so 15000 and then for 16495 you can get it with the included um, eyepiece, yeah. Okay, guys, so when you call your credit card company, you want 16495 plus tax. That's what you want for this, all right? And then don't buy nothing. Go straight to B&H or, or go straight to Adorama, wherever you go and you go order one of these. But I'm a, just give me some time. I got to get an affiliate link in there somewhere. Um, <laughs> Cause enough of you guys buy one, then I can get mine. Um, but yeah, um, so when is this available? So this will be available July timeframe. You know, we're uh, hoping to get it out June, July, that kind of time frame. We're taking our time with it, make sure that we got it right. Cause we don't want, you know, we want to make sure people know how to use it and know what to do. We have some great footage on our website with the behind the scenes to show you that it's on a big drone and how they got some of those shots is very cool. Um, the 17 K sensor, I know it's not a lot out by, about it yet. Um, have they discussed dynamic range for that sensor? Or is it going to be similar to, I think it's going to, yeah, the, the idea is similar. Um, we actually have a, sh we have a little, uh, display of the three cents of the original 12k the new 12k and then the 17k and then you're like wow that, that I can see how huge that thing is so yeah that, that's gonna be very exciting again technology display that will show you know that'll take its time to it'll be sometime the end of this year or, or whenever it's ready uh, but this one right now I think is really gonna step us up I think a lot of people have been waiting for something like this camera uh, for a long time and we've had a lot of a lot of cool uh, DOP showing up going, oh, what are you guys doing there? All right, you know, and we have a cool set that we've been shooting on in the front of the booth. And I think uh, it, it's been a great show and I'm, it's really exciting. It's my favorite, my favorite camera so far. Um, few, few last small questions. The viewfinder, can I use it with previous Blackmagic cameras by any chance? No, th this one has a USB-C uh, port. So for now it's it's working with the two new cameras and that's, uh, that's where we are now. Okay, perfect, perfect. Man, I can't wait to get my hands on one and, and kind of yeah. play with it in, in my own environment. And, uh, but I'm going to definitely go around the corner and they got them on display. I'm going to go play with them over there if they have them. They do. And uh, I want to thank you for your time today. Thank you. Great to see you. Yeah, yeah. This is Bob at Black Magic. We, we talk to him every year. Great guy. Always give us the inside scoop on uh, what to expect from Black Magic. And uh, great gear. See y'all in the next video. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, that's it.